He was going to watch Transformers, but decided to do this instead. <laughs> Much better choice. Yes. Are you okay? Because you look fantastic. Maybe you should eat something. You'll feel better. Well, I didn't mean the sand. The sun. Now that's very serious. Lloyd Christmas, the methadone years. <laughs> you guys aren't as a mess. Fortunately, she's well, wearing her intervention bikini. Strung out. What do you expect? You know he soaks up drugs like a sponge. Yeah, that baby powder he was doing sure has a mean kick to it. Oh, it'll wear off. Baby powder ain't cutting it anymore. I'm snorting gold bond right off the sack. Now what's he doing? Hey, sit down and look bored like the rest of us. What are you doing? You're a real pain in the neck, you know that? I'm gonna catch a tuna. Tomorrow's headline? Idiot killed by tuna somehow. What I'm swimming the needle in the ground with you gotta find him, he had the stash in his pocket. Where is he? Is he in a hot air balloon, waiting in line for tacos? Le Mans Speedway, where? Wee, it's fun being ten minutes away from puking up Fireball. <laughs> and there's David Sheldon himself. What does she want? Well, she said, I quote, some decent action. And some great you-know-what. But if she sees a boom mic, the deal's off. Larry, uh, this is... Out of your league! Mary Ann Lovett. Right. But you can call me lovely. Lovely? I don't know, sounds kind of deadly. <laughs> She'd like to go on a tour with Captain Magic? If you can provide the ticket. I got it all, baby. Eczema, dandruff, halitosis, got it all. Hanging out, hanging out with my family, having ourselves. Not bad. One of the fringe benefits of my business is I got plenty of cash to fix a place up like this. Does your mother know you have this set up here? Sure, that's her self-portrait back there. Hi. What's in it for me? All the action you can handle. In other words, very little action. <laughs> Wild, sexy, and gorgeous junkie. The howl of the incel. Lucky day. Are you the only pusher in school? No. There's this chemistry teacher, Mr. White. You want a hit? No, but you do. Thank God you set up that quip. We were getting dangerously close to sex. Oh. How would Captain Magic like a taste of his own medicine? No. Oh, please. Oh, I, I. How it feels to take a single bite of kale. When the cops searched his room in the attic, they found everything. PCP, cocaine, the new stuff, everything. The new stuff? They couldn't even think of a third drug? I don't remember. Well, according to a kid called Cricket, thinks he left the dance with Burgess. A girl tipped off the police about Burgess. You wouldn't be that girl now, would you? The police? Me? No, I don't think so. Come on, Dominic, give her a break. Whatever you say, world's oldest sophomore. She's new in the school. She doesn't know any better. You're lucky I'm actually just the shop teacher. Thanks. We go better find a table. Okay. Then you go better go to grammar class. Okay. Police think they can solve everything just by asking questions, right? Well, yeah, that's how it works. Kinda. <laughs> Dealers have gotten so powerful. Like Larry Burgess. Yeah, Larry oh, screamed powerful. People behind him. <laughs> I better go to class. Maybe tomorrow I'll remember to eat. Why don't you come over to my Aunt May's house? Tomorrow. I'm staying there. Great. <laughs> I heard some voices, so I came around the back. Aunt May, this is Steve Barringer. How do you do? Hello, Steve. <laughs> Big Tiny Tim. <laughs> Anything wrong out here, May? <laughs> no. Stop making such a big deal. And this is my father, Chet Lovett. Yeah, God bless us, everyone. Uh, Steve, I'm so glad that Son you stopped a... in on us. I've been begging Lovely to have some of her friends over from school. Well, I just came over to talk. Well, I didn't say f her, you horn dog. You children would like some cookies and milk, Steve. <laughs> no, no. We're young, sexy, and peeing whenever we feel like it. Wee. Well, it's all right. I guess I put it all behind me now, anyway. Then what is it? Uh, thank the you, world. background ass. That'll be all. Responsibility. <laughs> it's not good enough. We've got to do something. I know. Let's take drugs. Okay. I agree. I think you're right. 
I gotta talk to you. I got nothing to talk to you about. Take off. Take off your shirt because you're barely wearing it now anyway. They're waiting for your answer. Tell them I'm not interested in the offer. Richie Cunningham is a terrible role, and whoever takes it will never amount to anything. He gets paler with every step. <laughs> it's a lot of effort. He said no. What? He said no. Young Dwayne Johnson is not happy. Have you ever done drugs? I sure did. Believe me, I got the scars to prove it. The Olympic fencing team. Sure. But Common to 70s like drug movies. <laughs> Her pant legs are wide and a third of them are missing. Let's get out of here! So, you're always around when there's trouble, Mary Ann Lovely. So are you. Detective Lovely. Yeah, but I'm trying to do something about it. Let me give you some real information then. Anytime. Just before he was attacked, Steve told me the name of, of, of the biggest dealer in school, a guy named Mantis Menagian. Mantis Menagian? <laughs> Sounds like the scientific name for the 17-year locust. You take your job so seriously. Yeah, I brought Manus Manasian in. A lot of good it did you. He's a football star. He was out of jail before the cherry was sitting on got warm. In our defense, Mantis Manasian has a right? room temperature no, ass. forgot to read me my right. That's just not enough. My reaction to a fun-sized Snickers. David Lee Roth wore that same outfit most of the 80s. Susie, I need a favor. Yeah, what? I want to meet Mantis Nasian. No, you don't. I have to. Look, he's one of the biggest dealers in school. He's Even one of the biggest wrong. dealers in high school? I see. All right. You prevented me from getting I high. Need to talk to you. <laughs> Why? I hear that you used to go out with Mantis Menagian. Yeah. And that he was named by George so Lucas' four-year-old daughter. I think Mantis is really good like you. At least I'm praying Mantis, Mantis likes you. <laughs> likes you a whole lot. I, I'm sorry, I really just need oh, cocaine. Oh, that, Tina? Oh, hi, Gloria. I like your hair. It's on your head, hard. right where it should be. Nobody gets to Mantis unless it's through me. <laughs> So many cheerleaders hanging out just ready to join a vicious riot. In their defense, they, they are taking a lot of drugs. So this is the XFL, huh? huh? I mean, it's different. Man, you're late to make it out there. Listen, Frickie. Your wireless no plan is for old people. <laughs> what to do? You got that? Hey, it was my idea. The coach said I'd be sure to tell you. Will you tell the coach something? Cricket has a real no, no, public I'm radio a podcast vibe about it. <laughs> to apologize. Right away. This is and, uh, Cricket for public tell him you radio. better get here quick. Well, hello. Oh, he's going to show her that he's got a mantis in his pantus. A mantis menage. You one of the new cheerleaders? They don't drop me. Mantis Bartholomew Menage, and how dare you? you? Just in a little extracurricular activity. Hi. I'm lovely. Yes, you certainly are. Boom mic, party. drink! <laughs> I don't, well, you're in for a treat. Let me show you around the place. Here's a couch, and here's a potted plant. Wow, what a yeah, treat. Incredible. It is, isn't it? It's amazing what money can buy. It really is. What's this, alien seeing a house for the first time? <laughs> it cost me 10000 when I bought it. Now it's worth sixty, maybe 70000 No kidding. Yeah. Plus, I've got a sousaphone that's now worth probably 80 bucks less than when I bought it, so, yeah. How do you like my fine, Warren? Very much. In fact, uh, well enough to add her to my collection. While they're talking, this piano just sits there raking in the dough. Ka-ching! What an ego. How would you like a tour of the house? You hear about his piano? Yes, I heard about his piano. Uh, the cowboy zombies are here. <laughs> Lovely, this is Mr. Gilmartin. Well, howdy. He uh, owns Honest Charlie's. Honest Charlie sells landmines to brutal dictators. Howdy. He's from out of town, Mr. Gilmartin. Well, now, Honest Charlie's is the fastest growing chain of bargain retail stores in the country. Just try to beat our prices on water softener salt. I dare you. Mr. Gilmartin. 
I'd love it if you'd help me fix my zipper. It's stuck, and I can't seem to get the costume off or on. I'd really like to get the zipper fixed so I can get it on. Your sex analogy is not working. You're already wearing it. <laughs> Wish the History Channel looked like this. Really? <laughs> huh. I guess he's the Ed McMahon of unfunny food gags. You rotten little weasels. <gasps> Did any splatter on my rapidly appreciating piano? A woman being thrown into a buffet table? If I want to see that, I'll just head to Golden Corral. This new synthetic stuff is selling like hotcakes. I know. We're going to make a fortune with it. I mean, not discount yeah. retail store money, but... We're just going to keep zooming in until they find a boom mic. <laughs> I paid enough for my mistake. Oh, honey, you have not. <laughs> more, more than it takes. All that I want for me is you. Oh, this kid makes Gilbert O'Sullivan sound like Dave Mustaine. Just keep smiling, Denise. He's got to sleep sometime. Javelin. Oh, hello. How are you? Also, Javelin? Really? Please. I have no idea where she's gone. Or how she became a 30-year-old vigilante. Okay. Bye. Should have left a message. Shut up, painting. Should have. Here she is, Mr. Gilmartin. Howdy. I promise you'll enjoy this lovely afternoon. And this but deadly day. Yeah, that's what owning a discount retail chain gets you. A big gazebo. <laughs> Shipment coming in tomorrow. You can have all you want. Shipment? Where? Well, like what? on a ship, I what guess. You, <laughs> oh, what kept you, boys? Driver was helping me with my shell collection. I assume this guy is the mayor. It's Mantis's mom. She sent him. Well, he delivered her. A <laughs> boom uh, mic delivery, is, also. Take over on his own. I don't like Warren Lang. He won't let me into his parties. Is it because of the vest? I, I bet it's because, because of the don't vest. Like your table manners. Mantis Manasian, elite athlete. <laughs> hey, Mantis, how come you walking? You're gonna be late. I didn't have much choice. The jerk stole the tires off my car. Gotta climb aboard. I hope he means climb aboard the bus. What is this? My pick of any seat? Is is this heaven? I didn't have any choice. I mean, they were going to pull my teeth out with pliers. Oh, I did not expect this movie to double as a Norman Krasner origin story, but here we are. Easy, easy. Two guys lugging a cardboard box out of a school bus. This is exactly what I want for my funeral. <laughs> Stop twerking. This is serious. He's still alive? He's going full Bugs Bunny falling off a cliff in there. Well, they did it. They went and created Freddy Krueger. I bumped my head. It really hurts. Maybe you should take an aspirin. I don't like to take drugs. <laughs> I like these murderers. They're fun. You know, a boom mic in this shot would be impressive. Looking for a girl. Her name's Lovely. And she's five foot six. Brown hair, brown eyes. This is the Masters, you idiot. Get off the course. Oh, good. So warehouse number two is much more disgusting. Okay, yeah. Yeah, warehouse number two is packed, brimming, filled all the way to the roof. Oh, okay, Kevin. Number two. Yeah. Got it. Why don't you untie? He has nothing to do with this. Let him go. She's talking about Gamora. They've really bonded. Here? If you wanted to see my shipyard, all you had to do was ask. They brought me here. She's just a friend. She doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't even own an ascot. I think she does. Question is, uh, do you know what she's doing? Does anybody know what anybody in this movie's doing, for that matter? Oh, I guess that makes him a bigger weasel as the rest of us, huh? <laughs> Shut up, Gilmartin! Do, Warden? <laughs> You were the one who got Do Warden. 
I'm not going to do this forever, you know. I want a singing career. That takes big bucks. And I'm just a poor boy who owns a fleet of boats. And there's only one thing we can do. Agreed? And if I ever play George's boss on Seinfeld, we won't mention this. Agreed? Well, did you find her? I just saw something I think you should know about. Was it that boom mic just now? (laughs) Come and knock on a door. Knock on a door. Ain't no one gonna spell extra with an E, not on my watch. (laughs) Zebra woman. She kicks ass, takes names, and dresses like a zebra. Zebra woman. Zebra woman. Zebra women. That strategy actually does work against the lion's defense. Like real zebras, they know karate. (laughs) No, I'm afraid of manatees! Uh, It's possible I've been too hard on drugs. Maybe I'll give them a shot. Eventually, I will figure out how to land this thing. There are more weasels to catch. What about Charlie here? Leave him to the Harbor Patrol. You no, know, I also let the Harbor Patrol deal with all of my problems. Stay where you are! Why do they do this? Why? You go pop one time, and everyone starts making assumptions. <laughs> hey, Javelin, I like your new song. It's even better than Chuck Berry's My Dingaling. Thanks. Will you sing it again for us? Yeah, sing it again. Well, I don't have a guitar, but... They've started the world's lamest cult based around him. (laughs) Ah, good. The Acoustic Guitar Prevention Squad is here. They truly are heroes. (laughs) No more time wasting time on a dream that won't stay. It's like a much less cool Greg Brady. (laughs) Post. I hate it when movies pander to fans of early 20th century etiquette. What's going on here? No, you don't. The old man's going down for multiple counts of weaseling. I just popped once. Hey, I have a little pity for the weaker sex. Theirs is the wokest love of all. <laughs> 